it's actually very rare that people are genuinely interested in hearing mm -hmm. what is up, mm -hmm. you know? It's, it's usually like, oh, thank you for your service and the pat on the back, but actually I don't want to hear yeah. what's up because that would like, you know, conflict with maybe my idea of, of being a patriot, you know? Um, and so um, I think hopefully something that, that can come out of it for, for someone who sees this film or a similar film is to, you know, be aware of, you know, your, your family, your friends, your co-workers, your neighbors and so on. And, you know, be interested in their story because I think, and this is something that, that Joe also describes, that just talking about it helps you. You know, it lessens the the trauma, it lessens the pressure. And of course, there's a point where it's so intense, where you need professional help mm. and, you know, you might need medication and it might actually help you. But, um, yeah, a lot of it is, even even from the, the official, um, you know, the VA, um, mm. the hospital for the, for the veterans, is more about... Um, giving pills and, and mm. teaching coping skills, but not really <laughs> digging, you know, yeah. like w what is, what is the any problem? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't want to get to the root of, uh, the problem is that when soldiers come home, part of us dies in war. If we do make it home, we've left a part of us there, period. Mm -hmm. And, uh, because if you want to make it home, you've got to, Uh, you've got to dehumanize yourself. Mm -hmm. You've got to be able to act not like a human, you know? And then when you come home, you're expected to just act like a human again. Mm -hmm. You know, like, th and there's no addressing that because they don't want to admit that that's what they're doing because mm -hmm. that would start to unravel the whole thing. It wouldn't be such a... Hero, hero worship would be a lot harder if the government came out and said, oh, we're totally psychologically fucking destroying these people so that they can kill people for us. Mm. Not for freedom. It's for us. Mm -hmm. It's just for us and our bank accounts. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then when we come home, fuck them. Mm -hmm. if, they can't, if they were honest about that, then people would be like, well, I'm not fucking joining that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why would I do that, you know? But it's this whole charade, the red, white, and brainwash, the red, white, and bullshit, you know? It's, 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 all, it's all propaganda, mm -hmm. man, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm trying to institute this thing on the 4th of July and other, you know, American holidays and don't wear red, white, and blue, wear black. Mm -hmm. You know, wear black for our brothers and sisters who, who've been used and abused by this government, who've been murdered by, at the hands of police that are charged with protecting us, mm -hmm. you know, like... Stop fucking, if we all stop buying into this shit, mm -hmm. then maybe it'll help unravel some of this stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. But these are, these are all really little things that do have an impact. But the whole machine, the military industrial complex is a billion dollar, it's about to be a trillion dollar industry. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the defense budget is now $700 billion. Like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. We could give everybody in the whole entire world $500 and it still wouldn't be $700 billion a year. <laughs> so, you know, 